Welcome to Ucanic. In this video, we're gonna show you how to test and charge a battery on a Mitsubishi. So if your car won't start, it just clicks, clicks, clicks. Um, there's a chance that you might have a weak battery, but just because it's weak, it doesn't mean that the battery is the problem or it needs to be replaced. Uh, the battery could get weak if the car has been sat for a long time, but it could also be weak. You might have an electrical issue where a small current um, is just drawing, draining this battery uh, when the car is parked, uh, like usually overnight. Uh, so let's go ahead and make sure that the battery is good. Now, what you'll need is uh, you'll need a battery tester. Now, a battery tester works way better and is more accurate than a multimeter because a multimeter is always going to tell you is the voltage, and sometimes that voltage could be low because the battery is discharged. But it doesn't mean that the battery is bad because you could charge that battery and then the battery can just work um, and operate normally. So a uh, battery tester, what will do is even if the battery is partially discharged, it will still do a current draw and then it will, it will measure the voltage and tell you if you have a good or a bad battery. So here, let's get started. Um, we're going to connect the red clamp on the positive. And as you can see, we have removed the cover that goes over the battery uh, to the air filter, but you don't necessarily need to do that. You can, you will be able to get to these clamps without doing that. You see here, the voltage is 12.02. Okay, and press OK for language testing vehicle. Select charge before charge. You can select after charge, so before charge. Uh, so if you haven't charged the battery, and you just want to know if it's good or not, you'll do before charge. Regular flooded. Um, most Mitsubishi's have regular flooded batteries. Uh, you can look at the stickers on the battery. It could be an AGM battery as well, uh, or a gel battery. You can see that you can select. But in most cases on a Mitsubishi, you'll have regular flooded ba battery. Now here, is select the cold cranking amps. And that's what that is, CCC, cold cranking amps. Now on a Mitsubishi, or I should say on most batteries, the cold cranking amp will be on a sticker right here. It'll say CCA and CA. So CCA is cold cranking amps. That's what it's asking for. You can also enter uh, cranking amps. If you scroll up and down with this, or you can um, enter the BCI group number. So you can choose, uh, unfortunately on the Mitsubishi here, there's no sticker about the cold cranking amps of this battery. Now we're looking, it is good to check on the manual. So if you go to specifications and go to battery, a lot of times you might have the, the cold cranking amps required. Uh, you, you'll have them in there, but in this case it doesn't. It just says the battery um, size. So let's go with cold cranking amps. Press OK. And now typically most, even though here we don't have it, most Mitsubishi require about 600 amps. So we'll go ahead and put 600 here, press OK, and then you can see uh, state of charge, 3%, pretty discharged, and recommended to replace the battery. Okay, so yeah, the battery needs to be replaced on this vehicle. now. If you did try to charge the battery, even though you might uh, be able to get that car started, the problem is that that battery is not going to hold the charge. But in order to charge it, ideally you want to remove the battery from the vehicle. Or if you were going to do it on the vehicle, um, connect positive, disconnect the negative, put this to the side. Then you'd connect the charger to the battery post. You should not leave this vehicle unattended while it's charging because there is a risk of uh, fire from the battery so yeah ideally you just want to remove the battery and charge it out of the vehicle and that's it thank you for watching